New York Governor Kathy Hochul recently made headlines by referring to Trump supporters as clowns during a media appearance ahead of former President Donald Trump's rally in the Bronx. In a conversation with CNN's Jake Tapper, Hochul dismissed the impact of Trump's rally, asserting that New Yorkers would solidly support Joe Biden in the upcoming presidential election. She characterized Trump as self-serving and claimed his rallies were mere fabrications of support in a state that knows him too well to endorse him. The Trump campaign swiftly responded, accusing Hochul being frustrated by Trump's ability to draw large crowds in her state. They argued that Democrats are in disarray because many Americans, including minorities, are becoming disillusioned with the Democratic Party. This incident has drawn comparisons to Hillary Clinton's infamous 2016 comment, where she described half of Trump supporters as belonging to a basket of deplorables, labeling them with various derogatory terms. Hochul's recent remarks are not an isolated incident. In 2022, she had previously angered Republicans by suggesting that GOP candidates in New York should relocate to Florida. Her latest comments have sparked significant backlash from Republican leaders in the state. David Laska, the director of communications for the New York GOP, condemned Hochul for her divisive and elitist rhetoric. He demanded that she apologize to the citizens she alienated and, and called for a leader who respects the diversity of thought and beliefs in New York. Adding context to the political landscape, a recent Siena College poll indicates that Biden holds a nine-point lead over Trump in New York. This is a notable decrease from Biden's decisive win in 2020 when he secured 60.8% of the vote in the state. Despite New York's strong Democratic history, Trump remains optimistic about his chances, frequently citing the enthusiasm of his supporters. Trump's rally in Crotona Park, Bronx, underscored his determination to make inroads in traditionally Democratic territories. He reiterated his campaign promises and criticized the current administration's policies. Meanwhile, Hochul's comments have intensified the political discourse, highlighting the deep divisions within the electorate. As the campaign season progresses, both sides are likely to continue leveraging such moments to galvanize their bases and sway undecided voters.